gotta be quick about this. We're doing containers, he's going to be unstacking, get one down at the bottom. Now check this out. First time I've ever had to use this particular feature of the trailer. You got them up and turned, container locked. A lot of guys are gonna laugh at me because you know I've never I've never had to do this because we didn't have container locks on our other trailers. That's fine. Then just give that sucker a turn and then lock her down and it's done. You can see the cog inside turn. It can't come out. I'll probably have to put some straps over to meet uh, DOT on that, but uh, just like that, that's how they come. Just pop them up. Ready to rock and roll. These, uh, this particular trailer will haul. Sorry, I had the camera all messed up. It'll haul two 20 footers. So it's ready to rock and roll. I mean, this this is amazing to me. It's fantastic. I mean, that's how quick it was. safety chain for the handle. He must have a diagram when he knows where stuff is. I was over there trying to point it out, but Pretty darn cool, if you ask me. It's so dang soupy down here in Missouri. I'm telling you, you guys live in a soup kitchen. I tried to turn my truck off last night. I made it through the night, but my gosh, I about to bake my brains out. And that's for me is a short bake. Those safety chains are up, so there is some gap when you look at it in between. So there's no issue there, and. You know, they have a bit of a, a gap here, too, so should be no problem. So you, you can pretty much guess how much it's going to be, just probably about three, four inches. No problems there. Now, you guys that work in container places and uh, guys that work in uh, ports, this is common. Got like uh, like one more to move, and then he'll grab one. So. If I get all done, I'll shoot uh, shoot the final part of it and show what's going on. 